you're going to a free concert of your favourite boy band. You arrive at the venue to get the room of thousands of people, squeezing in, trying to get as close to the stage as possible. However, suddenly you hear some crackling noises coming from the stage. You start to leave the stage. People are running away from you, but not everybody realises what's happening. The organisers have an emergency plan, but it's just not working. It turns out there are a lot more people than expected, and they had no sweet way to measure this. How could they have measured this? How would you have measured this? Last year alone, more than 2,000 people died, crushed or suffocating due to a crowd collapse. Back to our 15 year old. If you're like any other teenager these days, what's the first thing you do in a concert? You arrive at the venue and you take her to you post something on Facebook or Twitter. You go on your favorite social media platform and share what you are with everyone so that they all know and they can be jealous. <laughs> can we use the huge volume of information on where we are that we all share on social media to study the size of the crowd? After all, the more people at an event, the more votes coming from the area. But how accurate would this be? And how would it change? in different events. My research analyzes data from our interactions with the internet, through smartphones and social media, to better understand human behavior and answer questions like this. Using techniques from physics, statistics, and computer science, I analyze our digital traces coming from our smartphone, study methods to analyze them, and apply them to real world studies. For instance, my findings suggest that these new forms of data may offer surprisingly accurate estimates on the size of the crowd. Our 15 years old probably sees social media as a way of keeping everybody documented on what they eat every day. Instead, I see social media and all of our digital traces as an invaluable source of information on our collective behavior. So, <coughs> even if you're not 15 years old anymore, Next time you're on your phone or your computer and you feel like you're procrastinating, wasting time, you might actually be helping me get, gain a better understanding of what is happening in the real world and answer crucial questions. And this may even help us predict what may happen in the very 